So to do this soap method, you take your soap and you rub it over a texture. Okay, can you see how the soap, the lace texture is showing? Okay, let's try this one. Now it has to be soft, whatever you do, right? You can't use anything sharp or pointy because it can damage the screen, right? <laughs> Okay. It just depends how much you want to add, you know, like the more soap you add, the darker your print will be. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, can you grab me a scrap piece of paper? So. We are going to add drawing fluid. So we're going to use this design. So you basically put your drawing underneath that you want to use and you trace from it. All right, I'm going to have you guys come do this. Grab a brush. And you just paint. Now it has to be relatively thick. If it's too thin, it won't work. And if you mess up, you just wash it off with water. monotype process, silkscreen monotype. What does the word monotype mean? You guys know? It means one of a kind. Remember doing monotype on Plexi? You can only print one. These, this type of thing, you can only do one like it and you can't really repeat it. You can get ghosts, but then it just fades away and you have to redo it. So we're gonna use watercolors and crayons for this. This is a special water soluble crayon. Uh, they're from France. They, I brought them here and they were nice and long and pretty and they look like now, <laughs> but whatever, it just still works, it's okay. Um, basically what you do is you draw on here with watercolor or water soluble crayons. So it has to be water soluble. Do not use acrylic or anything like that. I'll just draw, okay? So just stick to the watercolors in this because I know it works, it won't damage the screen. You draw on it, you let it dry, and then you put transparent base on it let it kind of soak and then print it and it comes through. So the reason we printed this uh, white onto the mylar is just for registration purposes because the first one you print is the best one. So you don't want to waste it on the mylar. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to have you guys all come around. Ready? Yeah. So you're just draw trying on. And it doesn't matter if it's outside the lines. And then you also paint with watercolor. Um, here, I have to... Okay, so once you guys all come around, um, you're doing a flood, but not a normal flood. You want to cover it in a thick layer of transparent base, kind of like you're icing a cake. So I'm going to try to avoid the other ones because I'm trying to keep them separate. So you need a lot. If you don't do enough, then it won't work. That's good. Okay. Do you see how I like... Uh, 
barely pressing, and it's a thick layer. Can everyone see how it's a yes. shiny thick layer? And I can even, it won't hurt. Let's do it like a little, a little thicker. That's fine. Okay. I guess we could do, we can do all of them actually. Okay, so first layer, we registered it. Now you want to make sure you don't get into here because that will get onto your image, right? So I'm going to stay over here. All right. And just to give it a little bit of extra juice. Now you take the leftovers and you put it in this bucket. Because it can actually be reused by the next person. You don't have to use brand new stuff. Especially if your image is really dark, the other colors won't show that much. And then you clean out your screen like normal. You might need smack to get all the colors out. Okay.